Hey folks, Zach here. Listen to this quick. Many of the song is originally being done by Led Zeppelin. This is a cover done by Hootie and the Blowfish. Pretty nice cover. And if you guys ever want to try to sing it, um, I believe it's in the close to the same key as the original song, but of course, much lower uh, vocal range. Yeah, there's the words. I want a woman want a ball all day. Basically, it's about some chick that he... Stupid laptop. <laughs> I still haven't figured that out yet, but anyways, that's not what we're going to talk about today. What we want to talk about real quick, at least what I want to put out there, is uh, I came across kind of a neat way to uh, get some free advertising material. Now, this only works in really... It's not going to work everywhere. It's not going to work in every instance, but... For instance, I got uh, February 5th is Mardi Gras, and I have a Mardi Gras gig that I'm doing at a bar gig. And um, I made up some posters. They look, this is one of the first designs that I came up with myself. But see, I don't, I don't have a big print uh, shop thing, or I don't have uh, um, nothing real fancy to do. So it's just a regular, um, what is it, 11 by 8 and a half or whatever sheet of paper, photo paper and everything. And I printed off a couple, three of them that are similar to that and gave to the bar. Well, a buddy of mine, um, John, he does a lot of band stuff and he's got a good friend, a friend of mine also, by the name of Sid, really good marketing guy, really, really smart with marketing, I mean, excellent. Um, they went to one of the beer vendors, um, M&L, which is Miller and Lining Kugels. Lining Kugels is like a microbrewery um, here in Chippewa Falls. I believe they dis distribute beer in a few other states, you know, surrounding Wisconsin. But um, <coughs> anyways, um, he went to the beer vendor and called him up and asked who to talk to about making uh, posters and promotional items. And uh, so they they gave him, they sent him to the right uh, department. They talked to the lady and um, they said, look, this is what I wanted to say. This is uh, a logo. You can go on the website and snatch it if you want, or I can email you the logo, whatever. Um, it's, you know, f they were also doing, they're also doing a Mardi Gras party at a different place that I am at and that I'm doing. And uh, the next day, they had their sales rep deliver the posters for me, even, and everything. So, and it has their company logo on it, and, uh, and it was free. Free for the DJ company, free for the bar. Um, the vendor, the, the beer vendor actually did it for them. So I called her up. John told me about this, and I'm like, well, this is a great idea. So I called her up, and uh, she got back to me. She called me yesterday, actually. Um, I called her Friday, kind of late. And she got back to me yesterday, and I told her what I, you know, some things that I thought it should say, and told her some of the drink specials that they're running. And um, so she's going to get my logo on there, and, uh, you know, talk about the DJ thing, and then. Uh, Say what when it's at, what time it starts, and uh, actually I'm gonna go pick up the posters. Hopefully today. Yet yeah, it's pretty crappy outside. There's uh, some. It, it uh, the weather was really nice yesterday, and then it got really cold. So now all the melting snow turned to ice. The roads are really icy now. Of course, we got about two inches of snow on top of that ice, which makes it really slippery. But uh, she said she, this poster should be done today, and she'll give me a call when they're done. Um, but it's, since it's getting late in the day, I wanted to get this video up there real quick. Um, I would show you the posters, but I don't have them yet. So, but uh, maybe if I get a chance, when I do the gig log, I'll show you the posters and everything so you can see them. The gig log will be in a, few, in a week or so. But um, you can use this uh, type of resource if you're doing some sort of a big festival. Um, you, as long as, I, I, I'm pretty sure as long as the beer vendor, um, um, let's say Miller or Budweiser or Coors Later, whoever, you know, whatever the big ones are in your area, um, are, are going to have their product at the event that you're doing, you can more than likely give them a call and you know say hey can you do this for me um, they probably already have some stuff going on but if you want to throw your logo in there they might they might just say hey that's cool that's fine especially if you're running a, a, a tent or a booth at some sort of a festival or if uh, you're doing some sort of a bar event and that that really makes you look good to these bar owners that if you take care of that part of the marketing form if you all of a sudden posters show up on their doorstep without them having to do anything um, they really appreciate that. So, just a real quick tip. Um, 
It worked out great for me. Hopefully I can do something like that for River Bash. They actually also made a banner for my buddy's band, the, the Big Deeks, that band that I was with a few weeks ago. That banner that they had the color palette shining on was originally from Rockfest last year, and Miller made that for them. They just cut off the sides where it said Miller, so it just said the Big Deeks. And that was like a 5 by 10 or I'm sorry, a 3 by 10 I think, banner. Real similar to the size of that one is, that, uh, that one I got hanging up right there. A lot bigger than the 5 by 3 that I made. So, um, but I got to get back to work now, folks. Hope this helped you out. Uh, I got to get back to doing some taxes. It's tax season, so I got to figure all that crap out. Um, anyways, if you got questions, comments, drop them below, of course. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Practice and enjoy.